The Boston 12 got plenty of uh, positive reviews in the last months, uh, so let's check its conditions uh, after 100 miles. I'll take a shot, I'll overpower any boss, cause I am not let's go. that you would wanna cross. I move quietly, like a shadow, there's a dark side to me. I work privately to go build and create my own dynasty. A new rivalry, it emerges ever so silently. But I got fight in me, so I squash anything that's trying me. I'm like, me versus you, I hope that you know what you're getting into. I got nothing to lose, so you better watch out, can't predict my moves. I'll make you irrelevant, I don't stop till I'm at the top settling. I live here like a local resident, and you know I ain't selling it. Here we are guys in another video review, uh, in this case for the Boston 12 after 100 miles. Uh, you can find all the specs of uh, the Boston 12 uh, in the initial video reviews, uh, the link is up here. Uh, with all the information related to the weight, drop, uh, stack eight, uh, including the running dynamics uh, like the ground contact time and the vertical oscillation. As always, let's split the video in three main sections, uh, so the overall condition of the household, midsole and upper after 100 miles then my impressions and uh, finally my conclusions. Outsole now. Let's start from the outsole. I confirmed that the grip is uh, not bad at all. Uh, uh, you know, the Continental Rubber is uh, one of the best in my opinion in terms of uh, grip and uh, uh, durability. In comparison to the previous uh, uh, version, it looks uh, thinner, uh, so better in terms of uh, flexibility and uh, not stiff uh, underneath your uh, feet, uh, but probably uh, with less grip in uh, gravel parts uh, and uh, less durable, even if so far I haven't uh, seen any uh, major signs of wear. The outsole has plenty of rubber. In my opinion, too much. Uh, the shoe could be easily lighter uh, without uh, that much rubber. So I find it uh, perfect for the road, uh, but not for the gravel or dirty parts uh, uh, due to the new design pattern. Midsole now. Let's continue with the midsole. Uh, but before to go ahead, uh, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, and smash the like button. Uh, only 5% of you guys is already subscribed. It's very important for me and uh, doesn't cost anything to you so your support for the work done for this video is uh, really appreciated <laughs> but let's now continue with mid so the lifestyle 2.0 is really another story uh, in comparison with the original uh, life strike uh, is much more softer and uh, much more bouncy uh, than before after 100 miles it's more comfortable of course uh, and it has still a good response with all this rubber in the uh, outsole uh, the missile is still in perfect condition, so it will last uh, uh, other 400 miles uh, at least. So overall, the missile is still in perfect condition, uh, and the combo of the two forms uh, uh, works pretty well, even better than the combo with the, the original uh, light strike. Upper now. About the upper, I tested uh, uh, mainly in Austria uh, with uh, 13 degrees Celsius in average, uh, but also in some hot days uh, with 30 degrees Celsius, and uh, it was comfortable in both situations. The mesh is different than in the Boston 11, uh, likely. Uh, breathability, I believe, is slightly uh, less, and so far there are no particular signs uh, of wear. I have to say, even uh, for the Boston 11, after 100 miles, uh, the upper was still in good conditions. Uh, but then uh, uh, after 150 miles, uh, the upper fade uh, totally. Uh, so you can check this out uh, in the uh, previous video review, uh, which link is up here. Let's keep the fingers crossed. The forefoot is wider, as I said in the initial video review, so I confirmed that maybe upside less could fit better, but I haven't tried it, uh, so I would suggest to go to the shop and uh, check it out. The tongue uh, uh, curls up uh, a little bit, uh, but at least was not uh, uh, annoying me uh, unless you fasten mm, the shoe uh, very strong. The foot lockdown is great uh, with the new lacing system, uh, so don't fasten it too much because uh, it holds pretty well and uh, the tongue is uh, pretty thin. So overall the upper is breathable with a great foot lockdown uh, and uh, with a comfortable uh, collar. Uh, about durability uh, I would not say anything. Let's see. The impression I collected during these miles uh, are that the Boston 12 is a light shoe, um, which I feel pretty big in my feet, uh, to be honest. Maybe for the half sides more, uh, it is responsive when you pick up the pace uh, and more comfortable uh, than the previous version when uh, you slow down. Uh, but if you are not used to running uh, such uh, uh, lower drop, uh, 
uh, of 6.5 millimeters, uh, two millimeters less than in the Boston 11. You could feel it the day after, so especially after easy runs uh, longer than seven miles, uh, I felt the calf becoming rigid, and the day after I was still feeling a bit of pain. Uh, so I prefer the 8.5 millimeters drop of the Boston 11, uh, but the stack head of the Boston 12, uh, which is uh, lower to the ground. Uh, during the tempo runs, uh, I had a good feeling, but still the forefoot was uh, too wide for me and for my feet. So some sliding there, which I didn't like. I didn't like it for interval trainings, uh, too much shoe in my feet and uh, not the control I'm looking for in a running shoe for this kind of trainings. But you know, on the other end, the shoe is uh, um, more stable uh, because the wider uh, outsole and uh, that helps uh, as well either in tempo runs or easy runs. So in conclusion, it's a pity that this shoe has uh, such a drop and uh, such a wider upper in the forefoot, uh, but I see its potential. Probably if I would have taken a, a half size less and uh, the drop would be like in the Boston 11, uh, the shoe would be uh, much more versatile uh, and uh, easy to control for me. So far I enjoyed it uh, mostly for tempo runs, even if it's not my favorite. But of course, also for easy runs uh, is okay, especially if you are used to uh, running such uh, lower drops. I would not use it for racing uh, because the feeling was not great, uh, neither in terms of control uh, nor in terms of feet and uh, response. So guys, in the end, these are my thoughts uh, about the Boston 12. I hope this was helpful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, uh, so that you won't miss the uh, next video, which will be probably about the comparison between new uh, two models, uh, the SL and the Duramo Speed. And especially, very important, uh, you will support uh, uh, the channel and uh, my work. As always, thank you for watching. Until the next time, keep running. Ciao. I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say